The brand new Rolex Land Dweller with the caliber 7135 and Dynapulse Escapement is a game changer. Let's break it down. Let's start with a quick recap of what an escapement is. The escapement controls the movement by unlocking and locking the gears at a very specific rate. It also pushes the balance with every oscillation. So you can think of it like a swing set. Every time you pass by, the escapement gives you a nudge to keep you swinging back and forth. Now the most common escapement will be the lever escapement. It's reliable, it's simple, and it's cost effective. That's why we find it in 90% of watches today, but now we see Rolex stepping up their game with the Dynapulse escapement. Now this is a hybrid escapement. It has a lot of features that we see in the natural escapement designed by none other than Louis Abraham Breguet, and it combines that with a lot of features that we find in a lever escapement. This means less friction, more efficient transfer of energy to the balance, and because of this, more precision in theory. Rolex has also introduced new contemporary materials like silicone and ceramic into their new escapement and balance systems. They're lighter, more durable, and more resistant to magnetism and temperature changes. They can even go unlubricated, although Rolex admits that they're lubricating this current escapement design. A lot of people people have been trying to invent the perfect escapement that could go unlubricated, which means that the service intervals are extended to maximum length. Now you have to think about this for a second. Traditional watchmaking only utilizes materials like brass and carbon steel found within the movement. Rolex is now laser cutting ceramic balance staffs and making wheels using silicone, which to a watchmaker is absolutely bonkers. Now this will never entirely replace traditional watchmaking because traditional watchmaking has a very important place in this world, but it is very important to always try to improve and innovate. However, this is not the first time we've heard of Rolex prototyping a proprietary proprietary escapement. Project Elf is something we saw many years ago. This escapement, which was prototyped within the walls of Rolex, was never produced because they didn't find it sustainable enough, and eventually became tangible when the designer of that escapement left Rolex, took the idea to Gerard Perigo, where we later saw it produced. Now let's talk about frequency. The Land Dweller Caliber 7135 runs at 5 hertz, which is faster than the usual 4 hertz that we see in most Rolex movements historically. Why does this matter? Because higher frequency theoretically means more precision, so why didn't Rolex implement this earlier? Actually, the 5 hertz movement isn't new. In in fact, you can find this in the Zenith El Primero movement, which is seen in earlier iterations of the Rolex Daytona. Rolex notoriously went out of their way to lower the 5 hertz of the Zenith El Primero before they implemented it into their Daytona line because they conducted many tests and proved it was actually causing too much wear and tear for the watch. Now, Rolex has spent years perfecting this caliber 7135 to make it more durable and reliable and to launch it at 5 hertz. And now it's ready for mass production. So why would Rolex invest in this new escapement design if they've had success with the tried and true lever escapement? The answer? Because Rolex always pushes the envelope. Just like they did with the Oyster Quartz in 1977, this new Land Dweller movement reflects Rolex's commitment to continually improving mechanical watchmaking for the sake of precision and performance, even though mechanical watches are long obsolete. This is why, in our opinion, it looks so visually similar to the Oyster Quartz because the technology and innovation at the time was so pivotal. What do you think of the new Land Dweller, not just the case and the bracelet, we mean everything? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're looking for one, you know who to ask. We'll see you at wrist check.